What's up, party people? Hey, it's Dr. Buck, and in this video, we're gonna talk about part two of three lessons I've learned being an emergency and drama surgeon. So the first lesson in this video is you can't make chicken salad out of chicken sh And this is one of my favorite lessons I've learned from a vascular surgeon that I trained with. Thank you very much, Dr. Shepard. There's a couple things I take from this. Number one is that I need to adjust my expectations of the outcomes to the ingredients that I'm given. So in surgery, for example, some hernia surgeries are like 45 minutes and some hernia surgeries are like five hours. Well, if this is a patient that's maybe an athlete, very strong, healthy person, they will heal better. Tissues are different. If it's a small hernia, then maybe it's not a big deal. If it is a morbidly obese diabetic that smokes all the time and it's a huge hernia, then maybe the outcome is not going to be quite as good as it is with a young, healthy athlete. So I like this because it forces me to think about outcomes based on the ingredients. So if I want to have a very special skill or a craft or I want to be extremely valuable, I can't skimp on the ingredient. I have to put the work in. The second lesson is actually from my grandmother. God helps those who help themselves. So when she said that, you know, I was younger at the time and I'd laugh a little bit because she was very religious. She would go to church all the time. She'd say her rosary all the time. And I thought it was just this religious type of thing. But what I've realized over time is what that means to me is that the harder I work, the luckier luckier I get. It kind of goes back to sort of the belief system and things like that we talked about in the first video. Really nobody believes in you and you're not going to get a lot of help if you haven't done anything yet. So if I decide I want to be extremely valuable, I have to work very, very hard for that. Then you bring something valuable to the table and you have lots of help from other people. So thus, the harder I work, the luckier I get because I get so much help from other people. Because if one person is working on something, that's great. But if there's 10,000 people working on something, then yeah, you're gonna probably do it a lot faster and a lot better. Okay, so the third lesson in this video is what I like to call, whatever you do every day, you're gonna do every day. This has to do with neuroplasticity, right? Our brains, yes, they are neuroplastic, but guess what? They like neural pathways. They like the same thing to happen. And so if we have a trigger for something, right? our brain wants to go down that pathway every single day or every hour or every minute. It doesn't really matter. If you spend your day every day kind of screwing around, you're probably going to do that later in life too, right? And if you go on vacation and do nothing and lay around and eat chips, and listen, I like chips. I'm just saying that it ain't good to do all the time. If you're doing those things every day and then you expect to oh, show up one day and like do a lot of work, like it's probably not gonna happen. So you have to practice building the skill every single day, or at least majority of your days. Otherwise you will never get to a level that allows you to be at a high performance level. And the reason I'm talking about this is because I get a lot of questions all the time. How do you get to a point where you're studying six, eight, 10 hours a day? That doesn't seem possible. Well, you do have to build up to that, but you also have to do repetitions, right? You have to start with one, then you can do three, then you do four, then you do five, then six, then seven, then eight. And pretty soon, six, seven, eight is not that big of a deal. And one is like almost nothing. So what you can focus on is deciding what things that you'll need to do in your craft or your skill or your job or career, whatever it is, and then decide what are the things that you need to start doing today to get to that place or at least sort of mimic what that will be in the future. If you think somebody would benefit from this video, please share it. If you like the video, hey, like the video. If you haven't subscribed to the channel already, please do that. That'll help us a lot. Really appreciate it. See you in the next one.